So a lot of people ask us, do we go to church? And you know, I, I, what I normally say is, I go as often as I can. And so what happened today is, we get let out here to a place like this, a filthy place of, uh, of, of hell like this today, uh, to bring church to the so-called church goer. The so-called church goer who's in the business. The so-called church goer who uh, does not obey their Bible. The so-called church goer who won't contend for the faith and walk upright in truth and it's worship the Lord in truth and in spirit because they don't have the spirit. What they have is a spirit of the world. What they have is a spirit of error. You know, if any of these people, the Bible says, he that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deed should be reproved. And that's exactly, that's exactly what we had out here today. And that's exactly why I go to church. And I go to church as often as I can. I don't always make it, but a lot of the times I do make it. And so, my pulpit's right here. It's called a sidewalk. That's where I do a lot of my time preaching to the congregations that I go to. To the congregations that I go to. And so, that's what we have before us today. So, do we go to church? Absolutely. Whenever we can. You're denying the Word of God. Let's talk about it, Pastor. Yep. Why don't you come over here and talk to me about it? Why don't you come over here and talk to me about the truth, so-called Pastor? What's the matter? You scared? You scared you might be wrong? You scared you might be wrong? You scared you might lose? Romans chapter number one is an indictment against you, you fake pastor, you snake, you snake, you snake. You better repent, sir. Homosexual approvers are worthy of death. Oh, shame on you, sir. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you, sir. You're in trouble with God. You're in trouble with God, businessman. You're in trouble with God, businessman. You have woe unto your soul. You've gone out to the way of Balaam. You have gone out to the way of Balaam, the son of Bosa, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Why don't you come talk to me about the Bible, Pastor? I came to your church. You don't want to talk to me about the Bible?
place like this. Coming into a place like this that supports homosexuals. The United Methodist Church. The United Methodist Church is yoked up and in bed with the LGBTQ community. And you're on your way to hell. You are on your way to hell. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me show you from the scriptures. Let me show you from the scriptures. Let me show you from the scriptures to air your way. Let me show you from the scriptures the error of your way. Let me show you from the scriptures that you can't be yoked up with the faggots and the queers. Let me show you from the word of God. And you know what your silence tells me? You don't care nothing about the word of God. You don't care nothing about the word of God here. Let me show you from the word of God. I'll show you from the word of God. It just shows me you're not even bringing a Bible in there. Where's your Bible at? Where's your Bible at? Where's the Bible at? Why is it not tucked under your arm? This place does not care about God's word. This place does not care about the truth. Come let me show you. Let me show you the error of your way. Wicked. Wicked. You're wicked as hell. And you're going to be turned in to hell. You are going to be cut off and cast down, cut down like the grass of the field. Worker of iniquity. Worker of iniquity. Let me show you from the Bible the error of your way, sir. Go get your Bible. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Wicked. Preach it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Go for it. Preach it. Man shall not lie with mankind. Neither woman with womankind. Come on, preach. For the Bible says that both are an abomination. Come on now. Man shall not put on that which pertaineth to a woman. Neither woman put on that which pertaineth to a man. You walk hand in hand with sodomites. And the Bible says you're worthy of death. Romans chapter 1 says not only them that do them, but them that take pleasure in them that do them. For they both are worthy of death. But you don't care about God's word. You don't care about God's word. You care about being a member of a clubhouse. You care about being a member of a clubhouse. Because that's all this is. This is not a church. This is not a church. You see this sign right here? God's going to do a lot more than destroy your sign on the day of judgment. Not one stone of these fake churches will be standing upon another on the day of the Lord's wrath. On the day of judgment, every crafty little pulpit pimp is going to be found out. You little proud, haughty little pulpit pimps, pimping out your congregation, pimping out your congregation, woe be to you. Pimping out your congregation, this is about money. That's what this is about, and God hates it. You're going to stand accountable on the day of judgment. You're going to stand accountable for everybody you let astray, everybody you strengthen in their wickedness. You're going to be held accountable. Your little church exempt status is not going to hold weight on the day of judgment. 
you butch dyke approvers, sodomite lesbian approvers are going to end up in hell if you don't repent. Romans 1 has got your number, but you don't care what the Bible says. You don't care what the Word of God says. Because you hate God, you don't care about God. This place is all about money. This place is nothing but a bunch of, this place is pimping you out. You're being pimped out by a pastor, a wolf in sheep's clothing that does not care about you. If he cared about his sheep, he would feed them with the word of God. But you strengthen the wicked that they turn not from their wicked ways. Oh, but you're at ease now. You're at ease now, but there's coming a day. There's coming a day, you fake pastor. You fake usher. There's coming a day that shall burn as an oven. And y'all, you proud, you're proud walk. Your little suave walk. You little 60s, 70s pimps out there are gonna receive judgment. The pimps in the street have gone pimping in the church. That's what you people are, a bunch of church pimps. And you're gonna receive a greater condemnation. This Bible's got your number over there, old man. You better stare at the ground. You better fall on your face and repent before you end up in hell. But you won't warn the wicked to turn from their wicked ways because you're wicked yourself. You're wicked heathen yourself. And if the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. I, it's not one person I've seen walk in there with a Bible. This is a clubhouse. You're being pimped out. That's what you are. Oh, man, you're a pimp. That's nothing but you are. That's what you are. There is no fear of God in this filthy establishment. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do you love God? You claim to love God, but you live like the devil. You claim to love God, but you live like the devil. You claim to love God, but you strengthen the sodomite community. You claim to love Jesus Christ, and you walk hand in hand with the wicked. That's because you're wicked yourselves, and you're on your way to hell. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. But you don't care about God in his filthy building. You don't care about Jesus Christ in his filthy building. You care about strengthening the hand of the butch dykes and strengthening the hand of the faggots. This Bible says you're worthy of death. This Bible says you're worthy of death. Pick it up. Romans chapter 1. Read Romans chapter 1. You fakes. You fakes. Read Romans chapter 1. Paul said you're worthy of death. Fear God. If you claim to love Jesus Christ, pick it up and read it and turn away from wickedness. The Bible says not only are homosexuals worthy of death, but them that approve of him are worthy of death. Do you love God? Do you love God or do you just want to be a member of another clubhouse? That's what this is. It's a run for profit clubhouse. This is a run for profit clubhouse. And deep down you know it. This is a run-for-profit clubhouse, and deep down you know it. Read Romans 1. 
Read Romans chapter 1. Paul said homosexuals are worthy of death. Not only them, but Jews Let's talk about it. Bring out your Bible. Let's talk about it. The United Methodist Church supports homosexuals. Jesus is against you. You continue in your way. Why don't you come talk about it? Come on. You don't have any power. You don't have any power. You don't have any power. You walk hand in hand with homos. You're a homo approver. You're a homo approver. approver. Shame on you. Shame on you, woman. Puppet pimp. Filthy lucre. Your riches are going to perish with you. Your money's going to be burnt with you. Your money is going to perish with you. You better fear God. You better fear God. God's going to wipe that stupid smirk right off your face, sodomite approver. Sodomite approver. Repent. Repent. Turn from this thy wickedness. Turn from your wickedness. Oh, you got to have that donation money, don't you? You need that donation money, that tithe money, baby. Got to get that tithe money. Got to get your money up, don't you? You're fake. You're a fake, and God's against you. You're wicked as hell. You're wicked as hell. You're wicked as hell. You're wicked as hell. And you strengthen the hands of the wicked that they don't turn from their wicked ways. You can't come content for your faith because you have no faith. Man, don't bring your child into a fag approving church. Don't bring your child into a sodomite approving building. You're wicked. You're wicked. Lovers of money rather than lovers of God. Lovers of money rather than lovers of God. You love your filthy lucre, Creflo dollar wannabe. That's what you are. You're a Creflo dollar wannabe. Creflo dollar wannabe. And you might be bound hand and foot right next to him in hell fire if you don't repent. But you still got breath in your lungs. You've still got breath in your lungs. You've still got blood coursing through your veins. You can still repent. You can still get right with God while you've got life. Choose, choose life. Choose righteousness. Repent. Fear God. But you don't fear God. You love the things of this world. You love that easy come up. You love that easy come up, don't you? You love that church hustle, don't you? You love that church hustle, don't you? You love finessing the people out of their money, don't you? You love that church hustle. I, you're about your money, ain't you? You're about that money, huh? Gotta get that money. Wicked! 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 You're wicked, and you know it! But you don't care. You don't care about these people's soul. You don't even care about your own soul. You die in your sins over there. You hear me good over there, you pimp. If you die in your sin, you're going to burn in hell forever. You hear that? You businessman. You hear that? You businessman. 
out fire if you die in your sin. It's no surprise to me that the loud and clamorous woman is the loudest person in this filthy building. It's no surprise to me that a woman has got the most boldness in a place like this. It's no surprise to me that a woman leads you around. You're wicked, Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. Ahab limp-wristed little wimps and Jezebel women rule over you. You let your women rule over you, you pathetic excuse for a pimp. Women rule over this filthy place. Women got the most boldness in this filthy place. You can't contend for nothing. Your women usurp authority over you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Limp wristed leadership. Your women got more boldness than the so called men do. Got to get that money now, huh, puppet pimp? You got to get that money now. You got to get that money up. Got to get that money up, you fakes. You fakes. You snakes. You serpents. Got to get that tithe money. You don't care about these people's soul. You don't care about these people's soul. You care about that money. Preach the word of God. Read Romans 1, you fag approver. Truth's not for sale. That's right. The truth is not for sale. You make merchandise of the truth. My house become a den of robbers. That's what this place is. A den of robbers. And thieves. A den of robbers. And thieves. You're a wolf. You're a wolf. You're a wolf. Yep. Preach, You're bro. You're a devil. God is going to destroy you, fake pastor. God is going to put you in everlasting fire. You strengthen the hands of the homos. You strengthen the hand of the wicked. God will repay you to your face. He's gonna repay you. 